Hi there and welcome to my first Illustrator tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these little retro badges, kind of look like little bottle caps. Pretty easy to do, just need a basic understanding of Illustrator and um, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so your first step would be just to make a new document, just make it 800 by 600 for now. And once you've got that open, just throw in some guides to mark out the center of your page. This is just um, acts as an easy reference point to work off. Uh, makes it easy for us to line up all our objects and that sort of thing. Then we want to come to the, this little object tool here and we want to select star. And we'll come back into the center of our page and then we'll just click once. Don't worry about clicking the center, we'll line up later. Um, this will bring up a little dialog box. Um, which contains the outer and inner radius of our star and the amount of points that we want to throw in. So um, 150 pixels for the outer radi radius and the 135 for the inner radius I found is quite a nice size to work with. And 20 points will give us a nice even amount of points. Alright, so once you click OK it should bring up something that looks roughly like this. Um, just make it black so you can see where your cursor is. I find if you have like a mid-tone color you lose your cursor real quick. Um, our next step would be to make these points curved, which is pretty easy. What you want to do is you want to come up to the effect drop down and go stylize, then come down to rounded corners. Uh, just, for this um, just for this shape we'll make it the um, corners 8 pixel. And you can click preview just to see what that's going to look like. And you can hit OK. And you want to zoom in a little bit. Alright, so now we want to align our little star shape here to the center of these guides. Now I've made these guides at 400 and 300 in the page, so it's right in the middle. Nice easy reference for me to work with. So I click on my shape and I come up to the little X and Y boxes up here. And pretty much all you do is you just type in the value that you want and remove the shape into the center of the guides. Pretty easy stuff. Alright, now we want to put in little circle shapes and repeat them around on the inside of each one of these points. Easiest way to do that would be just to quickly come over here and drop down the ellipse tool and while holding Alt and Shift just throw in a little circle. Alright, now we want to go and change over to a color that we want, so we want it to be white, and we want no stroke. Easy as that. So now, we will again position that right in the center, aligned to this guide, and now we want to repeat it around. So then we just come over and we select the rotate tool. Nice little easy peasy tool to use. Now holding Alt while having your um, little circle here selected, hold down Alt and you get a little minus sign on your cursor you see, and just click roughly in the center of this object here. And I'll bring up the rotate dialog box. Now, as you recall we made 20 points, so we want to rotate the circle around 20 times within that point. So the easiest way to figure out the right angle of rotation would be to divide 360 by 20. And that will give you 18 degrees to rotate around. So once you stick in there 18 degrees, you can hit copy. And what they'll do is it'll we'll copy that shape to there via 18 degrees. Nice and easy. Now we want to repeat that action over and over without having to go do it manually for each one. Easiest way to do that is to hit Control D. And now repeat the last command you did. And you just do that for each one right the way around. Continue doing it all the way back up to where you started. Cool, and that's all done. So the next step now is to create the circle that comes around the inside of this. So now we come over here and we select the ellipse tool and we come up to our little color palette up here and making sure that we have no fill on and we have a white stroke and coming over to the stroke dialog box here, we'll put in about 4 pixels for our stroke. Alright, so again roughly from the center of where we were, holding Alt and Shift, click down and draw out a circle. Alright, so we can just, after we draw the circle, we can just select our little pointer tool and 
holding Alt and Shift, we can adjust that to match. Not too happy with the four pixels, so I think we'll drop that down to two. There we go. That looks like a bit better. Hold an Alt and Shift. Bring that circle out to about there. Voila. Looking good. All right. So now we want to throw in some text. So this can be anything you like, um, because it's a kind of a bottle cap design. I guess we'll um, throw in something fairly generic, like what I showed in the example. So just grab our text tool, and then we'll just hit in there. We'll make um, a color for our text white, so we can see it. And we'll just type in something generic, anything you want. I'm going to choose tasty, because that's fairly, fairly generic. Anyway, so selecting your um, text will come up into our little font things and we'll choose a pretty nice retro font. Now I've downloaded a font from Font Squirrel called Ballpark. And now this is a fairly nice frilly type of looking font. And we'll make it big so we can see it. We're about 36. We'll do it for now. Alright. I'm gonna take those away and make them into lowercase. There you go. So that's pretty cool looking. Um, I think I might make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it about. Right, let's go up to 60. There we go. That's looking good. All right, gear having our pointer tool, we can just position that roughly in center. Don't be too concerned about how centered this is. And bringing our cursor over to the corner, we can rotate that up a little bit just to make it look a bit dynamic. There we go. Looking cool. Alright, now we want some kind of little swish line down the bottom there. Um, easiest way would be just grab our pen tool. Colors are already set to white as you can see, and we'll zoom in a little bit. If you're not familiar with using the pen tool, I suggest looking up on uh, YouTube somewhere a tutorial on how to use it. It's fairly easy. Just uh, put down your starter point, come over to where you want the line to go, and then click and hold where you want, and you can drag out your little anchors just to give yourself a bit of a curve and then you can come over here again dragging out some more anchors and then connecting your object up there All right. not too happy with how that came out so I'm going to just come up and I'm going to grab my white pointer tool I click on my anchor points there and drag in these little handles there you go looking cool hold on to that and press the arrow key we can bump that over a little bit Yep, yep, there you go, that's looking a lot better. Cool, so as you can see we've got a nice little swish line going on there. Grabbing our pointer tool, we can click on that, and using the arrow key we can just nudge it up a little bit just to line it in place. Probably not too much there. There you go. Alright, selecting both of those, we'll group them so they stay stuck together, and we can just bump them up and over and that sort of thing, just to center everything up. There we go. Now, we want to make some text that runs along the inside of the circle. Just come over and click on this little circle tool here and make sure we don't have any color so we're not confusing ourselves. Coming into the center of the circle holding Alt and Shift and clicking in the middle and holding it and dragging it out. And we're just making a circle that's roughly about that big. The idea is that the edge here is where our text is going to go. So just just to line up the spacing roughly where you want the text to be. All right. So you come over to your text tool and click down and hold on it and come down to type on path tool and bring that tool over and just click on the edge of where you want the text to begin. Obviously the text is still 60 points, so we want to bring that around. We'll try 18 and we'll change it to a font that's a bit more contrasting to what we already have. I think we use Myriad Pro and uh, Bold Italic. Alright, we'll just make sure our color is white so we can see what we're typing. And we'll just type out anything you want. We'll go the. Actually, we'll do a caps. Originals, but at the one time you want to use caps as we're doing retro stuff. Original fizzy drink. There we go. Nice simple stuff. Alright. So obviously now this 
doesn't really line up that great. So what you want to do is grab the white pointer tool and then hovering over this line here, not these ones, so I'll take you to a bad place. This one here, you hear that little upside down T come up on your cursor. You just want to click and hold on that and just drag that around a bit so it's nice in there. Every now and then it'll do that, which generally mean you're a bit lined up. There you go. Try that a bit more, I didn't actually do much much. Alright, so eventually you'll get it lined up. I find the tool to be quite difficult to work with because it tends to jump around a lot, but yeah. Anyway, so now to get the text around this side here, we're going to have to just select this one again. And um, we'll just copy this and we'll paste it in place. So Control C will copy it, Control F will paste it in place. And then again, using your white pointer tool, we can drag this, but instead of dragging it around, drag it to the inside. And that should place it on the inside. There you go. And you want it about there. Now the text doesn't line up. So this is where things get a bit messy, but you just have to be me for now. Anyway, so coming up here, selecting on this one, what we'll do is we'll just drag, holding Alt and Shift, we can just drag that path so it sits on the edge of the top text. Doing this is going to make this bottom text bigger, so we'll just select that bottom text, the text tool, and we'll just make that back to its original size, size which was 18. And you'll notice that again it's going to throw it out of line, so we're just going to have to come back up to our white pointer tool and just drag that line around until we get it roughly lined up. You can drag down a guide just to see if it lines up. Yeah, pretty good. Alright, so there you have it. Nice little retro badge bottle cap type of thing. Um, now from here you can obviously you want to want to make it a nice color so we'll just select the background object, the little star object, come over to our color palette here, double click on that make it a nice kind of desaturated blue type of thing there you go you get a nice little effect here yeah. um pretty much that's as fancy as you're going to get looking in illustrator yeah you can use the effects and that sort of thing but you'd probably be better off taking this object into photoshop and adding textures and whatnot and backgrounds and stuff to it and then you can slice it up and use it on a website or export it out and use it into a print document or whatever you want so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask down below, and yeah, thank you for watching.